Experts say a number of people are skeptical of science-based medical preventions to viruses. It's called vaccine hesitancy, and it's especially dangerous when it comes to COVID-19. Vaccine hesitancy is certainly a global threat. Um, it hasn't always been that way, but in the current hyper-connected environment, public sentiments are spreading rapidly and and widely. Not only is the coronavirus spreading rapidly across the globe, but thanks to social media, so is misinformation that can lead to mistrust. Facebook recently announced they will reject global ads that discourage people from getting a vaccine. To stop the spread of the coronavirus, at least 60 percent of the world's population needs to be immune, and we can achieve this through vaccines. But vaccine hesitancy can stop people from taking vaccines in the first place. Vaccine hesitancy has existed before around older, proven vaccines. But newer vaccines are new, and with that comes a lot of unknowns. This was also true for the H1N1 vaccine. Mm. The newness was, was a key reason for people not really wanting to take it yet. The World Economic Forum Ipsos poll surveyed almost 2,000 people in 27 countries. They found that 74 percent are willing to take a vaccine and 26 percent aren't. It varies in different countries. People in China were more likely to accept the vaccine than people in Russia. There's also all the rumors and misconceptions that are flowing around social media. Everybody's producing a video. Everybody has his online TV. Robert Kinwagi works with the Ebola vaccine deployment and acceptance in Africa and sees social media as being one of the factors for misinformation when it comes to the COVID-19 vaccines. I can say, and the issues being expressed in the American media are not very different from the issues being expressed by communities here in Africa. Is it a business? Is it a political tool? Kanwagi says on a global stage, he sees more government officials and businessmen touting vaccines than health experts, which can make it appear to be about politics or business. If the Trump administration approves a vaccine before or after the election, should Americans take it, and would you take it? If the public health professionals, if Dr. Fauci, if the doctors tell us that we should take it, I'll be the first in line to take it, absolutely. But if Donald Trump tells us I should that we should take it, I'm not taking it. The fact that you continue to undermine public confidence in a vaccine, exactly. if the vaccine emerges during the Trump administration, I think is is unconscionable. The experts say the fact that we don't have an approved working vaccine feeds skepticism. When a vaccine or vaccines are developed, we will have more information that can help dispel rumors. But the time to build trust is now. If we engage people in the communities we're trying to reach with a COVID vaccine, co-create the outreach with them, but start doing it now. Kat Sandoval, Newsy, Chicago.